Hey you, how's it going? It's me, Zoe Relic, and today we're playing Romance Detective 2. So I was wrong. They they made it, but they didn't finish the art. And but they still released it. So at least we still have the story. It's all good in the hood. And we can see all of the characters from the last uh, video except for some random person in the top here. That looks like uh Frisk from Undertale. Um yeah, uh, anyways, let's, <laughs> let's start. Nom nom nom, yeah. Unfinished development for about 22 months and really six others. It's a sh few short scenes left unwritten. You see a lot of sketches in place of final art. It's at least presentable and a satisfying experience despite lacking polish. I'm just wondering why she didn't, or they, sorry, I can't assume genders, um, why they didn't finish. Um, the Okay, it's been released in the state. My writing partner for the story, the person this project was mainly dedicated to, has been out of my life since the end of 2015. Oh, okay. That's made it difficult for me to stay invested in the idea. Of course, I'd love for it to be the fun and cool game that everyone's been waiting almost two years to play. Oh, people have to wait two years for this? Oh, dear. But that pressure is also what keeps me from ever wanting to work on it. Oh. I thought for a long time that the only thing I could do was keep finishing things little by little whenever I could, and eventually I'd be done, but despite feeling so close to the end for so long, I had to fight myself to get anything done. I just ended up feeling like, what's the point on working something I don't even enjoy anymore? At least, it's like, she released it and she didn't leave us hanging. So I decided I need to free myself. Romance Detective 2 is finally released, and I have no intention of returning to it. I want to keep moving forward. Nah, yeah, it's cool. I wonder if she has any other games. And, oh, sorry, I keep on saying... Here, I mean, Nami sounds like a feminine name, but you know, maybe it could be a masculine name. Nami, Nami, I don't know. With all that context in mind, I hope you'll enjoy this anyway. I'm sorry that this is all I can do. No, at least you finished it. Or, I mean, you didn't finish it, but like, you completed it. Like, it has a solid end, hopefully. Oh, we're in the art museum. And you can still tell what's going on. So, oh, Romance Cop has a little ponytail. Hey, detective! Do you know why I brought you here today? It's the first day, first place we met. You mean to say there was a reason? Oh, it's another than to appreciate the beautiful works of art displayed on these walls. Then no, I'm not aware of what that might be. No, oh, the music just changed. I'll give you a hint. Guess what today is? <laughs> if it's their anniversary in romance, detective does not know this. I'm actually really surprised. Ah, uh, now that you meant oh yeah, months of <laughs> months of better. Ah, uh, now that you mention it, this is where we first met, one month ago. That's right. It's like an anniversary date. You've certainly grown into your romance title. I'm honored to hear that from the lovely romance detective. Did you plan on this rose-themed exhibit being featured as well? Um, no, that was actually an unfortunate coincidence. Unfortunate, hmm. Well, I mean, is, it, is her name that bad? Like... Yeah, I mean, roses have been kind of ruined for me since that case. They are bittersweet, I suppose. How so? While they certainly cause a great deal of trouble, we, no we might not have met otherwise. Hmm, I never thought of it that way before. I guess that makes this a romantic coincidence. Indeed it does. <laughs> Hello, romance cop. Let's take a closer look at all this art. We gotta have the full experience. Oh, we can click on things to investigate them. Oh, that's the vase that we returned. This is the same vase from our first assignment together, isn't it? Who could forget? Oh gosh, that voice crap. <laughs> Who could forget? It's one of a kind. Looking at it now, I almost wanted to take it home as a keepsake. Even despite its gaudy appearance, what am I saying? Appearance? Mm, it's definitely grown on me. Mm. We can re look, re look at things? Oh, it's just, okay. How nostalgic. Oh, okay, so we can... You know, maybe it's hard to say this, but it doesn't look like much effort was put in some of these. <laughs> Is this a reference to the... <laughs> to the, the game developer? Look closer. 
You can feel a unique energy from each brush stroke. So I'm mine, why can't I speak? <clears throat> Look closer. You can feel a unique energy from each brush stroke. Do you see how the paint has been layered on in some places more than others? Hmm, yeah, but more paint doesn't necessarily mean more effort. These ones are just blobs of color. Romance cop, it may be true that a skilled artist's work will often seem effortless. Oh, sorry, I was like, should I redo that? Because I messed up, but whatever. However, it can take years of practice to be able to create such evocative works as these. Sure, but they're so messy compared to that big one behind us. It just feels to me like the artist got lazy. You tend towards more traditional, figurative art. I see. Very well. There's still hope for your tastes to expand in due time. Oops, I feel like I disappointed her somehow. Oh. I don't really understand the art world. How can anyone even tell what's good or bad? Same. I'm just like, what? I mean, I like Starry Night by, uh, obviously, Leonardo da Vinci. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Did I seriously just say that? Um, Vincent Van Gogh. Oh, oh. I want to say taking a leaflet for last. I should at least look around with the detective a little bit more before we move on. Okay, is there anything else you can see? Nah, I guess you can only see her. Let me guess. Is red your favorite color? Hmm, I suppose it's crimson to be specific. It's very alluring. No wonder you'd be drawn to roses, huh? I mean, aside from being named after them. Roses are a symbol of romance and beauty. I'd always admired with them. What am I saying? Sorry, I, I mean, I, I'm getting back into the, the zone of reading aloud. I'd always admired them as such, though now I no longer feel the need to carry one with me as proof of my devotion to romance. Yeah, you're beautiful without the help of any silly flower. <laughs> you're turning your favorite color. Now, now, enough of that. Uh, why did I get a British accent? Why were we doing? Are we done? She still doesn't know how to respond to my compliments. <laughs> how cute. Uh, uh, I love that they got together. You picked up a leaflet to take home. The romance detective still kind of looks the same. Except for obviously the rose, but she took that out in the last game. But I was expecting her to... Maybe she, maybe, I don't know, I don't remember actually. But Romance Cop looks detective, obviously. Wait. Did I say Romance Cop looks detective? <laughs> romance Cop looks different. So, um, after this, I was thinking we could go to. Come in, Romance Cop. Uh, oh, it's the chief. It could be urgent. Romance Cop and Romance Detective here. Do you need some. Uh, do you need us or something, chief? Sorry, I know they're off duty today, but I've had a, I've got a few things that need taken care of. Things have been us unusually busy lately, so you're the only ones I can count on. Could it be crimes against romance? Uh, go ahead, Chief. We're listening. First and foremost, it seems like a punk teenager went on a vandalism spree and ruined some school property, among other things. I want you two to go investigate. Okay. Huh? Wouldn't that fall under the school resource officer's jurisdiction? What? What? Why would a middle school need something like that? I thought every school had its own police officer. At least the ones I went to did. I guess it's different in Love Bloom. Romance Cop, what kind of city did you come from? A normal one! <laughs> That, I, I don't think I've had a police officer assigned to my school, so I mean... That aside, just head over to Snapdragon Middle School. The vice principal will fill you in on the details. Oh, oh, and the other thing. You've got an escaped convict on the loose. An escaped? Uh, what? Shouldn't she have brought that one up first? He isn't dangerous, I don't think, but we should probably find the guy. So drop by when you can. I'll show you his mugshot so you know who to look for. Understood. Thank you, Chief. 
No problem. Always happy to have the romance duo on the case. P please don't call us that. Oh, don't be shy, romance cop. See you two later. I'm not the shy one. Now then, <laughs> what were you about to say before the chief called us? Oh, um, just that I wanted to go to the park after this, but now it looks like we'll be busy. Worry not, romance cop. I'm sure we'll have plenty of future opportunities to spend our quiet, peaceful days at the park. Is this really okay with you? We were supposed to have the whole day off. Whether we're on the job or not, what truly matters is our time is spent together. Aww, detective. Oh, what I mean is, it's nothing to fret over. Our city needs us. Agreed. Alrighty then, let's decide what to do first. The vandalism case or the escaped convict? I leave that entirely up to you. Mm. I want to know who escaped. Is it the guy? Mm, maybe. I want more info on whoever broke out of our little jail. I just can't imagine why the chief is so calm about it. I'm curious as to what kind of criminal we're dealing with. If he was able to escape, it's possible he's a professional. Could be a she. Wait, or did they say it was a male? I don't know. Um, I thought it was going to be the, the what do we call it? The scientist guy. Our jail is always so empty. I'm surprised there was anyone in there to break out in the first place. Anyway, let's go! 12.30 p.m. Love Bloom Police Possession. Why do you have a eye patch? Whoa. It's kind of weird, kind of badass, but also kind of like, what just happened? I, I, I don't know what to do for the, like, I had days to think about this and I just, I forgot. You ladies got here fast. Could expect anything less from my two, my what, my but from my two favorite members of the force. I must remind you, I do not qualify as an official member. However, the sentiment is appreciated. Um, Chief, I have to ask, why are you wearing an eye patch? Is today some kind of pirate-themed holiday I don't know about? Oh, uh, this lost my eye. No big deal. Well, what? <laughs> I just noticed they didn't do the arm. <laughs> we get the idea. Are, are you okay? Lighten up, romance. Oh, wait. Um. Lighten up, romance. Cobb, I was joking. Just got a little banged up last night, you know, by your uh, jailbreak friend. Did, did he punch you out during his escape? Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. Though so I'm sounding like the scientist. I, can I just do like a British girl? Act? Sure, I'm too do British. He said that so quietly, no one even noticed he was missing until this morning. Nah, the eye patch is from what I got him arrested in the first place. Can you please tell us the whole story from the beginning? The way you've been explaining this, I feel like you're trying to give me a heart attack. It appears Romance Cop has not yet grown accustomed to your peculiar sense of humor, Chief. Please. Go easy, your honor, on the future. Yeah, sorry about that. You shouldn't worry about me, though. I'm extremely robust for my size. Anyway, we'll start here. This is our guy. Wow, accurate. I told him he didn't really need to bother with photos since he wasn't really being interested. But he was very insistent that we follow proper procedure. Whoa, this guy's weird. Why would anyone want to go through all this? So what happened was we were both at a sports bar to watch the game, right? And I happened to be sitting next to him. It was an intense game, so of course when our team scored, the whole bar got really worked up. So suddenly an elbow got me right in the eye. He got a pretty good hit on me, and I stumbled backwards into some chairs. I must have looked a lot worse than I felt because there was a whole crowd of people surrounding me asking me if I was alright. This guy, a perp, was on my face apologizing over and over. I kept telling him it, was, uh, it wasn't his fault and that it was totally fine, but he wasn't having it. Then I guess someone shouted something like, Hey, that was the chief of police you just assaulted, bro. Which really only made the guy even more panicked. Things escalated and he ended up on his knees begging me to lock him up for the night so he could make up for what happened. It was pretty ridiculous. Even though everyone there agreed it was clearly an accident, he just wouldn't let it go. The only way that night was going to end was with me taking him to jail. So I did what I had to and rested the guy. The end.
himself, then I don't get it. Why did he break out? Who knows? Change of heart? I understand why we must capture this man. Without spending his full night in jail, he can never atone for his mistake. Well, like I said, I never held it against him in the first place. But he shouldn't have made such a big deal out of it if he wasn't going to follow through all the way. What a strange guy. As soon as we find him, I'm demanding an explanation. Let me know how that goes. I'm here if you need any questions. Thank you, Chief. Oh, hold on. Before we go, I wanted to change into my uniform. You know, I'm really glad I paired you two up. That girl was so uptight when she first got here. With you around, she's much more relaxed. Is that so? It's all, thing it's all thanks to you working those romance detective charms. But really, Rose, thanks for always helping out. There is no need to thank me. After all, it is my mission in life to carry out romantic justice. <laughs> of course, of course. You know, it's really nice seeing you around more often. I did not realize you previously longed for my company. We're friends, aren't we? I just figured you were always off doing your lone wolf thing and bought in romance cases to solve and whatnot. Perhaps the three of us should go out sometime. I would like to make up for the years of neglect you have suffered. Sounds good to me, but I gotta do the boss thing and tell you what ain't happening till your work's done. Then we will be swift. Are we all gay? Yeah, gay, gay people, woo! Yeah, she's back in her uniform. Sorry to keep you waiting, I'm ready to go now. Perfect timing, romance cop. Let us proceed. I suppose you two will be heading to the school now. Well, oh, okay. Yeah. It's a, it's a little weird, the transitions, but I'm... Um, yeah. Right, we'll be sure to keep an eye out for Mr. Jailbreak on the way. We will solve both cases in the name of love. Okay, 1.15 p.m. Snapdragon Middle School. Oh, is this a principal? Hey, here, it's you must be from the police department. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Vice Principal Bell. I am Romance Detective. This is my partner, Romance Cop. Heavens, I wasn't expecting him to send the great romance detective for something like this. A new duo now, how exciting. My partner had- oh, okay. no, I went bridge there for a second. My partner and I appear wherever we are needed for romantic justice. Yep, yeah. no crime is too small for this team. So please, give us the rundown, ma'am. What happened here? Well, we had a group of students decorating a food stand for the big spring festival in order to raise money for the school. They were going to sell baked goods, same as every year. 